Welcome to math class. Today we're going to need our lesson 127. We're going to need a ruler and a pencil, but first we're going to watch this brain pop. How much does your snack cost, Moby? Sense. You're paying with a dollar bill. How much change should you get back? How can you count up to calculate change? Your snack costs 98 cents. You paid with a dollar, which is the same as 100 cents. To find out how much change you should get back, start on 98 cents and count up until you get to 100 cents. 99, 100. Since you counted up 2 cents, you get 2 cents back. I'm getting a snack too. My carrots cost 47 cents. I'm paying with 2 quarters, which are equal to 50 cents. How much change should I get back? You can start on 47 cents and count up until you get to 50 cents. 48, 49, 50. Since I counted up 3 cents, I get 3 cents back. How can you subtract to calculate change? This is the best toy store in the world. sentence to figure it out. What is 25 cents minus 5 cents? I like to imagine coins to help me subtract. Hmm, I know a quarter is equal to two dimes of a nickel. So, 25 cents minus 5 cents is equal to 20 cents. I'm not lending 
me $2,500. So we just watched a brain pop and we are going to be working with quarters. We have four quarters here and four quarters equals one dollar. Okay, now if I purchase something for 25 cents, then I'm going to buy it so I'm going to give it to the cash register. And how much change do I have left? Let's count 25, 50, 75. So my change would be 75 cents out of the dollar, okay? Now, if I had four quarters, again, two, three, four, there are my four quarters. If I bought something that was 75 cents, let's say I went in to the market and I had a dollar and I wanted to buy some candy that was 75 cents. So I have to pay the person, the cash register, so 25, 50, 75 cents. So how much money is left over? 25 cents, which is equal to one quarter. Another way to represent one dollar is to use dimes, okay? And that's what we're gonna be working with today. So if I have, let's count, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, whoop, and one dollar. So there is one dollar here. But let's say we want to go and we want to buy popcorn, but it costs 60 cents. So we're going to take away 60 cents. So let's count 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. How much money do you have left? Let's count. 10, 20, 30, 40. So your change back out of a dollar, what you have left is 40 cents. Okay, there's your dollar again. Let's say we wanted to buy a sticker. It was only 10 cents. If I took 10 cents out of the dollar, how many do I have left? How many dimes? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and nine dimes equals 90 cents. Okay, so when we're doing our math today, you need to think about it in terms of dimes and quarters. So if you have something that costs 50 cents out of your dimes, you have a dollar, so you're gonna give the cash register your money and she's gonna give you back change. But if we are going to take away the 50 cents, we need to go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And so your change back would be five dimes, which is 50 cents. Okay? Think about this when you are doing the next page. We're going to do some together, and then at the end, you're going to do the last few on your own. Here we go with lesson 127. You have your problem of the day. And what we're going to do is we're going to work on this sheet right here. And this is what we just watched a brain pop on. And it is about making change from a dollar. So all you need to do is think of one dollar as a hundred pennies. And we're going to see this milk. This mil milk costs 40 cents. And you are going to give the cashier one dollar. How much change are you going to get back? So. We're going to count by tens from 40 to one dollar, which is a hundred cents. So 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So that is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 cents is what you are going to get back. So on the line, you are going to write 60 cents. Okay, let's look at number two. That pencil is worth 20 cents. So if we have 100 cents and we're gonna take away 20 cents, so you can do it in your head or you can count from 20 cents to 100 cents and see what that is. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And we know that we have eight fingers and eight times 10 is 80 cents.
Number three, we're going to think about counting quarters. When we count quarters, it goes 25 cents, 50 cents, 75 cents, and then one dollar. Okay, so this is for each quarter. Now, if we have one dollar and we are taking 25 cents away, so because we're going to buy a ruler, so we are going to take one quarter away. How much money are we going to get back? So we have three quarters left, so we're going to have 25, 50, 75. And we don't forget to label. I want you guys to try four, five, and six on your own, so go ahead and press pause. And when you're finished, then press play. Okay, so hopefully you have finished. And we're going to go over number four. From 90 cents to 100 cents, um, the change you would get back would be 10 cents. All right. So this juice is 50 cents. If we have 50 cents and um, we only have a dollar, but we want to buy this juice for 50 cents. Okay, for the last two, it's a little bit easier when you see the quarters. So we have a dollar here, and this juice costs 50 cents. So we are going to spend 50 cents, which is two quarters. Then how much do we have left? We have two quarters left, and that is 50 cents. That is the remainder that we're going to get back from a dollar. Okay, so here we have a dollar again, and this snow cone is 75 cents. So 25, 50, 75, and how much do you have left? You have 25 cents left. Okay? So when you're finished with this page, you may move on to the next page where you are going to practice your multiplication times four. Um, I suggest you do this part first. It will help you count by fours. And then here you're going to match. And then for here, blank times four equals 12. If we look right here, three times four is 12. So do this first and this part will help you. Okay? And when you're finished with this, go ahead and move to your guided class practice and we will do this together. Okay, so we're going to start here. It says draw a three and a half inch line. So we're going to, we're so used to doing the centimeters, we're going to flip it around and we are going to do three and a half. So what I like to do is go to the three and a half, which is almost to the black box and go over so I don't go past it. Okay, make sure you write your name. Then we're going to measure. So it's one full inch and halfway between one and two. So it is one and a half inches. Okay. Number one says each child of the party ate five cookies. There were six children at the party. Draw a picture and write the number sentence to show how many cookies the children ate all together. Okay. So first of all, each child at the party ate five cookies. But let's see how many groups, that means how many children are there. So there's six children at the party. So we're going to draw six circles. Okay. Each child, these are going to be their plates. Each child had five cookies. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Three, four, five. Okay, so when we do group equal groups like this, we know that it is multiplication. So we need a number sentence. It's saying how many cookies did each did the children eat all together? So how many cookies? So there were six kids, and each kid had five cookies. So we can count by fives: five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. 
So there were 30 cookies, and your answer is going to be 30 cookies. Okay, fix that one so we can see it better. Okay, here we go. Show the time, or circle the time shown on the clock. So this is 8, it's not at 9 yet, so it's 8.45. I like to write my time here, so this makes clear. It's clearer to me. So it's not a quarter past nine, because that would be, it's not past nine, so we can cross that one out. Quarter past eight would be 8.15, so we can't do that. So, whoop. so we know that it has to be a quarter to a number, because there's 15 minutes left to a number. So we know it's already past eight, so it can't be a quarter to eight. So 8.45 is a quarter to nine. Okay, and here's some more of what we did today. So, the cost of the notebook is 75 cents. How much change will you receive back from a dollar? Here is the dollar that we have, and the notebook cost 75 cents. So we're gonna take 75 cents away. 25, 50, 75. And how much are we left with? 25 cents. Okay, number four, circle what the F will look like when you slide and flip it. So, slide, flip. So, we're going to slide it so it still looks the same, and then we're going to flip it so it is facing the other way. So, it is that one. Okay, number five, we haven't done this in a while, it says... Circle the best number sentence to use to estimate the sum of 68 and 23. So 68, 8 is over 4, we let it soar to 70. 23, 3 is not over 4, so we're going to keep it at 20. So we need to add 70 plus 20. Here it is. And 70 plus 20 is 90. Very good. Okay, oh, here's some more probability ones that we did. Okay, if you take one marble out of the bag, which of these colors are you most likely to get? Okay, so for red, what I like to do is put the number of each. There are one, two, three, there are four reds. Green, there's only one green, and yellow, there's one, two. So which color are you most likely to get? Red, because there are more reds than, look at I put a G here, oi, one. Uh, there are more reds than there are green or yellow, okay? Which of these colors are you least likely to get? Not that it's impossible, but the least likely you can get. So which one has the least amount? And that is green, okay? And let's do the math at the bottom. We can't take 9 away from 6, so we need to borrow that becomes 7, this becomes 16. 16 minus 9 is 7. 7 minus 7 is 0. 4 minus 0, we always assume that that's a 0, is 4. I like doing pluses. Okay, 9 plus 8 is 17, carry the 1 always. 5 plus 1 is 6, plus 7 is 13. Carry the 1, 3 plus 1 is 4. Don't forget, this one we need to label because we are dealing with money. 7 plus 5 is 12. We're going to carry that 1 and put the 2 here. 9 plus 1 is 10, plus 1 is 11. Carry the 1, put the 1 down there. Don't forget your decimal. Make sure on your assessments that you have your decimal and your labeling. 4 plus 1 is 5, plus 3 is 8. What am I missing? Dollar sign. Okay, for this last one, um, what we are going to do is 8 minus 4 is 4. We can't take 7 minus 1, so we need to borrow from the 6. 6 becomes 5. And then this becomes 11. 11 minus 7 is what everyone? 
four. Very good. We need to bring down that decimal. So five minus zero is five. And dollar sign. Yes, I had to rewrite this one because I accidentally scribbled on the last one and I couldn't it wasn't clear for you guys to see, so I rewrote it. So this is the last one. Go ahead and work on the other side. Please refer back to this side if you have any questions up here or if you have any questions on your um, change money due back on any of this stuff. Refer back to the other side and let me know if you have any questions.